I think the school system is completely inefficient. I don't believe in computer science degree. The amount of stuff you learn is really tiny, and the amount of things that you actually use in real life is really tiny. The traditional engineering school in France, they uh, teach physics, statistics, but not software engineering. It's more for the geek. It's very French to think that, I, I would say. I studied computer science, I studied computer security, and I work in several different startups. And now I am developer at Tukantoko and I am making a lot of other stuff, including art. This is like something that like always impresses people because like it's so complex and everything. When I was young, I was like really gifted at mathematics because like it just seems logic to me. Uh, it just seems straightforward because like when you get the right answer, is the answer was right, whether the people correcting you liked you or not. So I find it like really calming and when you make programs, you get like the same feeling because when you make a program it just works and you don't have to worry about the human errors and I'm really concerned about it because I'm not really um, friends with all humans so I guess working with computers just makes it more enjoyable. One day I was like hey I'm gonna make uh, art with code. I'm gonna write a program that draws the way humans do so like instead of uh, doing like a image rendering like all pixels at once I start by the dark spot and I follow the line, this kind of stuff. I did that like yesterday in like one hour and I like it because it's program. You can just make it run like random forever. You can just choose to tweak a few parameters and it just draws something completely different for you. It kind of looks like a painting, but like at the same time, you just know it's a computer who's doing that because of the speed and everything. To be a web developer, I don't think degrees are even remotely necessary. In the, the five years of engineering uh, that uh, French people do, it starts about like two years of prépa, that we say, when we only learn about theoretical stuff, uh, like uh, mathematics, uh, algebra, physics, and everything. You don't use uh, what we learn afterward. Like, it's only theoretical stuff, you, you only learn it as fast as you can just to get ranked among your, your peers. And at the end of these two years, you get accepted into an engineering school, which are supposed to be like more modern, more independent and everything. Well, we use Java and uh, we learn about the server of language. I mean, it's so out of touch with reality that actually in three different companies, I use literally 0% of what I learned in school. I only learned the web development that I learned by myself. And I mean that, like, by myself. Like, after school, I just followed, like, free tutorials and everything. So, like, yeah, when I talk about, like, zero efficiency of school, like, sometimes it's, like, actually the case. I was studying statistics and data science. It was after a long story of uh, mathematics. During this um, period of uh, learning, I've learned uh, Python. You can use it to analyze data, but also to do other stuff. My teacher uh, showed us only this point of view, so this analyze of data. It was with a, a Python package called Pandas. It's very uh, trendy, and every data scientist knows this, this stuff. I remember discovering a piece of code in Python which could move all the files on my computer. And I was like, okay, it's, it's done. But in my head, it was uh, uh, a huge uh, shift of mind. Uh, okay, with Python, I can interact uh, more deeply on my computer. So I was searching on the, on the internet more, more stuff I can do with Python. And I realized also I could uh, create interface. I started to, to build small stuff. This is the first program I, I wrote. Um, well, it was the first program I wrote that was not data analysis. It's a bit dumb, I think, but for me, it was, oh my God, amazing. <laughs> 
Imagine I have this whole uh, folder full of draft and screenshot I don't want anymore, but it's messed up with other, um, other notes I've, I've taken. And I just want to, to clean it. I just want to just put uh, every draft in the, in, the, in the trash. I don't have any interface, but I just run this line of uh, program and it's all clean and, oh my God, just perfect. Because uh, it's all on the web, you can, I think, uh, easily, if you like it, uh, learn how to develop. It was, for me, a revelation. So I knew I wanted to do that. But I didn't uh, know that this was um, um, a job. I, I saw it was just for fun. <laughs> and as the very last of my studies, I realized that software engineer was uh, actually a job and I can do that for, for a living. I'm always by bike now. I'm trying not to take the metro and you know, you are always on the street. So it's, it's very cool. I like thinking that there is not one Paris. There are many places very different in Paris and you can always discover new place and new atmosphere and new people. When I finished my study, I was very um, afraid to go into a corporate company. I was scared of this corporate world. And when I met some people of Tukantuko, I found them very uh, nice and chill and uh, easygoing. So it was for me uh, very easy to get into Tukantuko. It was not the whole corporate world I was afraid of. At first at Tukantuko, I was um, uh, making uh, some data cleaning and data analysis for our clients. But one thing to another, I get to, to become a software engineer. So um, I worked with the developers. Now I'm fully a developer, I'm just developing the, the software. The job just comes to you when you're a developer in Paris. I'm really happy about like, the whole ecosystem of startups that we have. Uh, like we have like the biggest incubator of like Europe, it's called Station F. It's like a big, big uh, hangar with like a lot of tiny startups and there's this whole uh, creativity in the things they are making. It, it, it really doesn't look like uh, what, what I expected when I grew up. Like I really expected engineers like to really be squares and like they have to wear like suits and everything, but like it's really not the case. I'm shooting a bullet in my own foot because I love Paris and everything, but to be honest, it's not really accepting for, for many reasons. French people's English is not that great and they don't want that much to change that. French are really attached to their values, whatever they are, and often foreigners give, give like a, a new perspective to things, which I really like, but for many people living in Paris, uh, the field question. The tech scene is like a bit different because when you learn web dev development, you learn it on the web and you learn it connect to literally the whole world. So even if Parisian startups are mostly made by Parisians and developers who work there are mostly Parisian talking to other Parisians, they transmit the ideas that happen all over the world. Like ideas of clean code, like concept, like microservices, like we don't have French technology, for example. Like, <laughs> we work with the whole world, so I guess there's that. I think most teachers are like completely out of touch with reality. Okay. Whether it's in high school, in prepa, or in engineering school. Like, they're either like 20 years late or 
or I just like completely out of touch with reality, like they are floating in space, especially math teacher. You can learn it, not, at, not always in school. You can learn it by yourself. It's, I, I guess, your part, your, your case, and it's also my case. So I can learn it from the internet. So. Yeah, from home, from free. I mean, yeah. there are so many free resources. So you don't need school to learn it? So. Yeah. <laughs> but school needs to learn, to, to teach it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that like schools are like understanding that their completely theoretical approach yeah. is completely malfunctioning. They have started to realize that like you can get to the same level of development whether you go to like a really elitist school like Polytechnic as like if you do like uh, School 42 or even if you're like really motivated and you do it like all by yourself in one year. And th they have started to, to realize that like you can get like all of this paths and get to the same level. And companies have started to realize the same stuff. So like, I think the diplomas are starting to devaluate themselves proportionally to the fact that, that the schools are not changing. Yeah. They are listening to what industry needs. Yeah, and exactly. currently, industry needs more developers. So it will come. 20 years ago, it was unthinkable to learn how to code like all by yourself. Yeah. It, like it was not even possible. And now there's like all these people from like really various backgrounds who are like getting into development, and like you can actually see it from what is happening in web development. I think like on a really meta and philosophical point of view, it's such an interconnection of brain and creation of intelligence yeah. that history uh, have never saw. Thousands of developers find jobs across Europe using Honeypot. If you're up for a new challenge in one of these European cities, sign up at honeypot.io. If you want to see more tech documentaries, then subscribe so you don't miss the next one.